Hi, right, what's going on everyone? This is HFN Hufin News. Today is April the 18th, 2020. Going to give you all this Bitcoin having price prediction because in our last video in Bitcoin, on the 14th of April, we sidelined the market to get a better idea of what the market travelers are trying to do. Are they trying to trick us into thinking that Bitcoin is going to move lower? Or are they going to trick us into thinking that Bitcoin is going to be moving higher? You guys are at a great location to get the answers to those questions because we do got some uh, better idea as to what the market trappers are trying to do to us in the sense of what direction they're trying to confuse us in so if this is your first time watching our video hit that subscribe button like and share the video join us on our other social media platforms specifically our website if you guys want to know more of our price predictions and forecasts in the cryptocurrency space in the stock market in commodities you got to go there and sign up period all right so now let's talk about this Bitcoin. The market on our last video for Bitcoin was undecisive. It was giving us mixed signals as what direction the market in Bitcoin was going to go. And you all may begin to wonder, Hugh Finn, your chart is looking a little bit confused with all those lines plastered on your price chart. Well, you know what? Let's clean it up. So let's talk about what happened into the market in Bitcoin right here around all of these lines on our price chart, because these lines played a huge part as to what the market trappers are trying to lay traps from us on. So this ascending line in Bitcoin, originally the market in Bitcoin was trading above it, right? And you guys can tell we cracked that level of trading above this ascending line on the 13th of April and ever since then we've been trading below it so that tells you and I that the market overall is not that strong initially next this area right here is where the market was trading at restriction and we cracked that level on the 6th of April trade above it for a couple of days and then we crashed right back down below it and if I was to extend this out a little bit longer, we are trading as support on that line right now. So the market trappers are still fighting out there to give us a, a trick because the market can go either way. We have held support at $7,000 and we're still cracking restriction alongside that ascending line let's get rid of it this is the actual thing that I'm looking at the market and Bitcoin trading along based off the market trappers ideas weekly chart market in Bitcoin looks real good I'm not going to deny the long-term view for Bitcoin in the next hour I'm sorry in the next day and six hours if we close toward the high of this bar with the light volume, it definitely tells us that that continued movement higher in price is still there. OK, now we got restricted last week at seventy five hundred dollars. So I would expect us to try to get some more sellers into the market around that particular price. But looking at here on the long term, the market in Bitcoin is still looking to see continuation of movement higher in the long term. OK, so that's that hourly time frame you guys can tell that yeah we are getting some indications of market weakness in bitcoin at this particular moment so you expect that on hourly time frame market does not go straight up and it does not go straight down so we know that this line is still hindering bitcoin from seeing the movement higher in price and the weakness is still being played out so the market in bitcoin is anticipated to continue to see some movement to the downside around $7,100, uh, maybe even back down to 7,000. If it hits 7,000 to the downside, that's going to be real negative in terms of the market in Bitcoin trying to continue to pursue that movement higher. Okay, so yeah, I mean on the hourly time frame, Bitcoin is weak. I'm telling you that right now. So if you're trying to particularly, if you're trying to time an opportunity to get into the market in Bitcoin. Uh, definitely have to wait until you find out where the market support is going to be at and on the four to five minute price chart 7120 
uh, could be a logical area of support all the way back down to 7,040. Okay. So looking at the market in Bitcoin on the hour, on the daily time frame. going to continue to place a movement to the upside in Bitcoin okay and we're going to play support in the market in Bitcoin right around here okay So we're going to hold going forward uh, support to be around 67.25. Okay. Uh, we're going to play some movement to the upside in price. Hold that level right there for support. Uh, TP. $7,600. So it's like another 6% market move to the upside in Bitcoin. Bring it up a little bit higher though. $8,000. Okay. Now I can see, you know, from a probabilistic standpoint, I can see the market in Bitcoin touching $6,400 as well. I give it like a 15, maybe 10% chance that that can happen. And if it does, we definitely need to see strength come into the market at that particular price in order to see that long term prospect of Bitcoin seeing movement higher. OK, so right now, this is our forecast. Quick to see. Easy to understand. I'm done. Join us. I'm out.